Well, hello everybody. Here we are in Round Rock to uh, bring you an update on Project Sputnik, which Bart and I have talked with you about before. So, so what's the big, uh, the big change, the big announcement we have going on, Bart? Project No More. Sputnik today is a product. So that's the, that's the big deal. So what started out a little over six months ago as a Skunk Works uh, innovation project today is actually launching as a real product. So it's, it's now the, the Dell XPS 13 laptop developer edition. So very simple, straightforward kind of a name. And what you get is you get Ubuntu preloaded on top of the XPS 13. You get the basic drivers and some utilities that developers would want, uh, as well as access to two open source projects that are supporting this, one being the profile tool, the other one being the, the cloud launcher. And that is the, that's today's announcement. And, and so what, what, are the, what's, what do those two tools do? And like, what's the kind of use case that use cases we're targeting with Sputnik? Sure. So the, the cloud launcher is basically the idea that what you can do is using LXC or Linux containers on your laptop, you can model your entire application environment and then push it to the cloud in a DevOps kind of a way. So taking basically what you'd have up on your, on your whiteboard and, and recreating it here, uh, your topology, and then, and then pushing that as the final production um, environment to the cloud and then being able to expand from there. Uh, and today that's that's accomplished through Juju and through, as I said, LXC. Um, but going forward, we're also going to be opening up as a as open source project, uh, so people can take it and expand on it and and go from there. Then the other one is the profile tool, which I've talked about before, which is the idea of different developer profiles. So if you want to work in Android, if you want to work in um, uh, JavaScript or Ruby, you can pull down these packages, it will configure itself on your laptop, and then you're off, off and running. Um, so the idea of replicating your desktop on different places if you need to set it up or need to set up for new workers who might be coming, uh, etc. And that's another one that we're just kicking off on the on GitHub at GitHub slash uh, Sputnik. So like, like with, with all the, you know, early on we had a lot of involvement from people in Ideastorm and other areas, and like, how has the Sputnik community evolved? It's been it's been really positive. That's one of the things that's been amazing from the beginning is the amount of, of positive support. Even when people are offering suggestions or or taking us to task for different things, they were still uh, very supportive of the overall idea. And so some of the things that we've heard about is um, uh, the fact that four gigs, while that was okay for some people, there were a lot of people who also wanted eight gigs. So today we're going to be announcing it with uh, it's on one configuration and it's on the eight gig configuration. Uh, it's also be the, the third generation Intel. Um, so there's been a lot of things that we've had that we've worked with people. So in the beta program, things like the, the touchpad and the wireless drivers and getting that to work correctly. And those are some of the areas that we've been we've been working with in the use cases. And the same thing with the, with the profile tool and the, and the cloud tool, getting input on that uh, along the way. And that's been great. And it's really, that's what's tipped this from being just a Skunk Works project to being a real product is the fact that we've had all this amazing uh, community feedback and it's allowed us to go to management and say, you know what, this is a, look at these numbers, people are really interested in this, this deserves to be a real product. And, and so, uh, like, like, what do you, like, now that we've got a, a product out the door, what do you think we'll be focusing on next? What, what should we tell people that we're working on in, in the labs now, so to speak? Sure. Well, before we get to the labs, there's still other ways that we can go. And, and one of the things is today's announcement is this is available in the States. Um, and then also in Canada, just in the large enterprise market. Um, but in the States, it's large enterprise as well as consumer and small office. So the next way we would look to expand this is, is to expand this and make it available outside the United States, so around the world. And so that's the next thing. And then on top of that, we would look to make a complement to this. So whereas this is a, uh, a thin, very ultra-mobile type of a device, there's been a bunch of people on the, on the, uh, on the threads that we've, we've seen in the forum saying, hey, this is great, but I'd also like to see a big, uh, big brother to this, something that I could use to do more workstation-like that I could do some real serious uh, developing on. And so that's probably another area that we'll we'll look to. And then as we talked about already, uh, on the uh, a lot of it's just going to be happening out in the open on GitHub with both the cloud launcher and the, and the profile tool. And so where can people go to uh, get one of these or find out more or start getting involved? Yeah, so the, the URL for this would be uh, dell.com slash Sputnik or dell.com slash developer. And both of those will take you to the same page, which will have links to, to actually go ahead and, and purchase this. And as of today, it's it's ready to roll. All right. Well, do you have anything else you want to tack on there? 
just thanks to everybody for really uh, for really being vocal and supportive of this entire effort because without without that it would have just stayed a, just an interesting skunk works project that we're playing with and, and going forward we're hoping this is the first step in many more developer focused type activities and efforts that we have and hoping that going forward people can expect uh, developers can expect more from Dell. All right well we'll see everyone next time. Thanks Kote.